Cool, you did that, well done. Yes, the tan of the critical angle gives the coefficient of static friction. So, for the rubber on this book, we can get the coefficient of static friction from the critical angle. Now we can easily answer a few questions. Does mu s depend on the area of contact? I put it on its side and raise the book to the critical angle. Now I put it on its edge, raise the book to the critical angle. Well, for this measurement and these two surfaces, there isn't much of a difference. It looks as though mu s doesn't depend strongly on the area of contact. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For many pairs of surfaces, the coefficient of friction is approximately constant, independent of the area of contact. But the coefficients of friction for different pairs of materials vary quite a bit. In particular, they also depend on the cleanliness of the surface. A layer of oil or a grease spot can have quite a dramatic difference. So, in such experiments, repetition and care are particularly important. Now, here's another little puzzle for you. If I tilt this turntable slowly, we can work out the coefficient of static friction. I put the mass at a distance r from the centre. What is the maximum rate I can spin the turntable before the mass slides off? OK, how about we put that one in the quiz? But here's a related one. How fast can a truck go round a curve of a given radius without skidding? There's a subtlety here. Here's a wheel rolling. At the bottom of the turn, the wheel is instantaneously stationary so it doesn't slide. There's no relative motion between the tyre and the road at the point of contact. It's static friction. I can feel that with my hand. No relative motion, static friction. Now, here's a wheel skidding. There is relative motion, so it's kinetic friction. And I can feel the relative motion. If the car goes round the curve with the wheels rolling, it's static friction. But if it goes too fast and skids sideways, that's a kinetic friction, and it's a pretty important road safety problem. So let's put that one in the quiz too. And we'll give you a link to a resource about rolling and skidding. But before the quiz, let's answer the puzzle from the beginning of the lesson. These nails are sharp. I can easily push down on one with a force of 10 or 15 newtons, but after that it becomes painful. My weight is 700 newtons, so provided I spread it over a few hundred nails, it ought to be pretty comfortable. Well, don't try things like that at home, however, because you could hurt yourself if you make a mistake. And there's a danger of infection, too. Now, on to the quiz and the test. We'll meet again next week to look at work, energy and power, which is a completely new way to look at Newton's second law. And it's a new way of looking at the world as well. See you then.